And so we are going to have to do some more interrupting. Did you hear me? We have some more interrupting to do. And so I'm going to try to do it in the best way I know how. But I can't promise you about the other folks with me. I can't be responsible for them. But we won't tear up the town. But we'll make you know you will hear from us. You will see us. So look for us on the corners because the weather is nice now. We'll be out protesting because we believe that all lives will not matter until black lives matter. And so with that, even though I wrote out notes, um, I didn't use them, so I'm not sure what I was supposed to say. <laughs> so with that, I'll get off the mic so that Denmark, isn't he fabulous? Oh, you don't know who Denmark is? Denmark? They don't need to know that much. Yes, they do. They need to know about you. You want a fabulous DJ? I appreciate that. Thank you, Ms. Willie. And who can play the music that you want Even and that you stuff need. You don't like? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> He's being smart. He calls me Miss Willie because I'm old. <laughs> no, no, that's a sign of respect. I'll tell him that. It's because I'm old. And I got it. I'll, I'll accept it. But, you know, don't let me have to get you. Get my switch out, huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm finished. You're back up with... Uh, Denmark, thank you. Thank you, Miss Willie, we appreciate it. Once again, this is an amazing woman, and we don't want to forget her partner that helped co-found this, uh, Miss Terry Kramer, who couldn't be here at the moment uh, with health issues. Oh, okay, she's, yeah, she, there you go, okay. I just got corrected, see? The, look how quick that happened. All right, so we're gonna move along. Terry Kramer is also a part of Respond to Racism, and they do a great job together. Um, oh, okay, let's go ahead and, you can have it. He mentioned Terry Kramer. See, I should have looked at my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Kramer is a right hand, left hand for me. And she was very instrumental with working with Allison from Parks and Rec, and I mean, Jamie from Parks and Rec, and Allison from the library services. They were the representatives from the city who worked with Terry and me for to do the planning for this event. Terry worked hard, planned a vacation, went to see the doctor, and guess what? She landed in the hospital. So I am asking you, please keep her in your thoughts. If you believe in prayer, please keep, you in, keep her in your prayers. She's had surgery, it was successful, yeah. and we hope that she'll be home next week, but she's missing us right now, and I'm missing her. So, this is for you, Terry. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, thank you again, Ms. Willie. Okay, so next up, we're gonna have a wonderful performance by Ms. Julianne Johnson, uh, Johnson Weiss. By the way, she's a professor and director of music at Portland Community College, acclaimed singer, actress, director, and producer. You go, girl. Uh, I don't know how many more of these I can read off. You got a lot of, <laughs> a lot of accolades on here. Uh, she has entertained audiences on Broadway cruise ships, the French Riviera, and other international venues. Let's give it up for her, please. Give her a round of applause. Let's hear it for Juneteenth. Let me hear you. Yes, yes. Um, this, this term has been a fabulous term for me at PCC. I got to, do, uh, to teach a class on social justice and song. And there were some wonderful young people who came forward who were so gifted and talented and took the class and they wrote original songs for social justice. And if we, uh, those of us who were around in the 60s, we understand that that was a time where um, all of that creation was really full and free-flowing, and it was happening out, out, around the corner and everywhere. 
And so to watch uh, the young people today embrace it and want to give of their heart and their soul to this awesome cause of being uh, equitable and inclusive and belonging and making sure that blacks had a voice, a voice in the dialogue, of uh, a seat at the table. You know, all of that can be listened to and responded to and can be felt through the arts. So it's really, really important that we support the young people who are doing the arts, who are speaking, who are doing spoken word, because they are going to be the voice of our future. They're going to share everything. And so today, what I want to share with you is a song that all of us as young people who are black had been exposed to probably since we were born. It used to be called the Negro National Anthem. And then there was a day when it was changed and we were calling it the Black National Anthem. Either way you look at it, it is our chance, it is our desire and our need to be heard and for you to understand our history. So as you listen to the words, try to apply it today. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on till victory oh, is won. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, Thou who hast brought us thus far on the way thou who has by thy might led us into the light Keep us forever in the path we pray. Lest our feet stray from the places, our God, where we met thee. Lest our hearts drunk with the wine of the world, we forget thee. 
overshadowed beneath thy hand. May we forever, forever stand true to our God and true to our name, our name, our native land. This is our land, our native Well, there you have it. I don't need to say anymore. <laughs> Good job. All right, next up, uh, before I go on, I want to make sure to acknowledge all the fathers. Happy Father's Day in advance. So let's give a round of applause for the fathers. Let's do that. I want to make sure we don't forget. Next up, I want to bring up Mayor Buck, who grew up in Lake Grove neighborhood and owns uh, several businesses in uh, Lake Oswego, several restaurants. He's an avid volunteer serving with several organizations, including Hunger, Fights, Hunger Fighters Oregon, Willamette Falls Trust, and Youth Leadership Council. Mayor Buck is a veteran of the U.S. Coast Guard, thank you for your service, and graduated from the University of Portland with a degree in business administration and accounting. Give it up for Mayor Buck, y'all. Yeah. Squeeze him so leave it on them to do whatever. Hello, our Lake Oswego community. How are you all doing today? I'm not as off the cuff as Miss Bully points out, so they, they told me keep it to the script. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> At the beginning of the Civil War in 1861, more than four million people were enslaved, nearly all of them of African descent. Today we celebrate a holiday, now a national holiday. Born from the freedom of the last enslaved in 1865 in Texas. Black Americans and other people of color subsequently faced a long, arduous road to equity, still travel to this day. The legacy of Juneteenth is a story of perseverance in the most trying of times. It's important we recognize that our community gathers here today thanks to our black neighbors here and nationwide who have kept this holiday of freedom alive for generations. It is a privilege of people like me to join in these traditions and it's an honor to speak before you here today. We celebrate the story of Opal Lee, the victim of sanctioned racial violence as a child growing up in Texas, who at the age of 89 walked from Fort Worth to Washington DC to convince Congress to recognize Juneteenth as a national holiday. Despite the fact her monumental efforts fell short, she continued fighting. And now thanks in great part to her enduring will to leave a legacy for future generations, we recognize both a new national holiday and a new state holiday. Today we shine a light on leaders of color here in LO who continue in their dedication to a community culture that celebrates the true beauty of residents of all races, backgrounds, national origins, ethnicities, religions, and more they bring to the city. Our democracy works. Right here today, the fact that the city of Lake Oswego, our city, is sponsored this celebration and other celebrations highlighting the diversity of culture in our community is democracy at work. The key is to keep the process working. Volunteer, engage, be involved, speak up for those without a voice 
those who are marginalized. Be involved in your neighborhood association, in community groups, on city advisory boards. Let's not serve those least fortunate only when it's not inconvenient. We best honor the ancestors of our African-American neighbors and others in our community, historically oppressed, when we say yes to change, yes to being uncomfortable, yes to making room for those who have had the doors closed to them. When we're serving those least fortunate, the hardest to serve, we're elevating our city for every resident. We recognize that freedom for many in the US did not mean freedom for all. And to this day, many are not free to live where they'd like, to receive a quality education, to breathe clean air, to have access to nature and opportunities to build a secure future. The power is within each one of us working together, prioritizing the welfare of others, and while respecting the steadfast and brave perseverance of those who brought us to this day, also acting with an urgency that honors that change has waited long enough. Now let it be recognized that I, Joe Buck, as mayor, declare June 19th, 2021 as Juneteenth in the city of Lake Oswego. Yeah. Today is a day to celebrate and tomorrow we work so that there'll be even more to celebrate in the time ahead. Thank you to the community members from Respond to Racism for all the work they did in organizing this great event. And thank you to all of you for coming out to celebrate with your neighbors and enjoy this special day. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Buck. We appreciate you. That's what I'm talking about. It's exactly what we need. Thank you, sir. All right, so next up, we're going to have another speaker. What are you talking about? Credentials. My goodness. Let's get to it. Miss Antoinette Edwards has spent her life working for equality, human dignity, and social justice. She has served as a lifeline to at-risk youth, focusing her service on African-American and LGBTQ communities. Antoinette is the former director of Portland's Office of Youth Violence Prevention. She also ran Portland's street-level gang outreach program. Okay. Antoinette was the 2019 recipient of Portland's FBI's Community Leadership Award. And she's joining us today to speak on the historical significance of Juneteenth. Let's give her a round of applause, y'all. How you doing? Here's what we're going to do. We fix this quick. And this just got turned off. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor Buck. Thank you. All right. Yay! Thank you, Lake Oswego. Thank you. I see you. Thank you, my Muslim sisters. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for being here. This is a moral, historical moment. And I think it speaks volumes when a community shows up to acknowledge, to honor, and celebrate who we all are. So give yourselves a hand. Hey. I'd like to dedicate the time that I have with you today. It's going to be almost as short as the introduction. Uh, I'd like to dedicate this time to the 12 and a half million Africans that were shipped to the New World. And in that tradition of honoring my ancestors, I'd like to share a tradition with you. So what I'm going to ask you to do, and what we do in the church, Sister Elder Willie Poinsett and Brother Bruce, stand if you are able, only if you're able. Now, I'm an elder, so I'm going to challenge you. Stand only if you're able. And we're going to participate in a call and response. I'm going to give it to you, and you're going to give it back to me more better. Yeah, that's Ebonics, but it's all good. It's all good in this neighborhood. So when I say it, you say it. 
family. Family. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. That sisters and brothers. Sisters and brothers. Have to share the same parents. Have to share the same parents. Not so. Not so. Sisters and brothers. Sisters and brothers. Are those who elect to be. Are those who elect to be. Of one family. One family. One heart. Of one heart. They are not classified. They are not classified. By out of color. By out of color. Social standing. Social standing. Degrees of education. Degrees of education. 401ks. 401ks. Zip codes. Zip codes. Or by their place in history. Or by their place in history. And especially not by competitiveness. And especially by, not by competitiveness. Sisters and brothers. Sisters and brothers. I said sisters and brothers. I said sisters and brothers. Can meet eye to eye. Can meet eye to eye. And give the gifts of esteem. Can give the gift of esteem. And respect. And respect. And can say to one another. And can say to one another. Fear not. Fear not. Dare to be all that you are. Dare to be all that you are. For you will not diminish me. For you will not diminish me. By being yourself. By being yourself. Totally. Totally. Welcome, Lake Oswego family. Hey, now, now you may sit. <laughs> to uh, share a line and a few remarks by some women that I deeply admire, uh, Dr. Maya Angelou and Oprah Winfrey. And Dr. Angelo, Maya Angelou wrote a poem to my grandmothers. And the line was, I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. Today, I come as one, and I stand as 10,000 to the 10th power. Okay. I stand representing all of those names who made it into the history books. Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Frederick Douglass, Dr. King. But there are those that did not. For those, I want to stand for those who marched and for those who prayed for those who sang, for those who believed, and for those who died. I stand as 10,000 to the 10th power. Today, I stand for those who knew that a new day was coming, but never received a moment of notoriety, a moment of applause, for their courage, for their commitment, for their commands to be free. And because of them, Today, I stand on solid rock. And I know that because they laid that rock before me, they were the seed of the free, and because they were the seed, I get to be the fruit. We get to be the fruit and create new ground for freedom to blossom every day. And it's not a day that passes that I don't stand in remembrance of how I got over. And I almost called on you, Sister Willie, Elder Sister Willie, to sing that song. My soul looks back and wonder how I got over. How many of y'all out here know that song? My soul looks back and wonder how I got over. I don't even have to think about how I got over. Born in 1952, Alabama, segregated South, pink and cotton, the oldest of six in a three-room house, no running water, chance of nigger, one-room schoolhouse, picking cotton till my hands bled. But I did not let that define who I was because I knew who I came from, and I knew that I was loved. Yes. And from that, I get to remember every day, and I pray, and I ask God to guide me, to teach me, and tell me how I get to show up to be a force for good. 
and how I can live in that dream and how I get to show up in the world, how I get to show up with you today. And what I'd like to leave with you is that ancient African philosophy, Ubuntu. Can you say that with me? Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Can I hear it? Ubuntu. Ubuntu means I am because you are. My experience, my heart, my soul is inextricably tied up to who you are. We are bound together. And in Ubuntu, we say a person is a person through other persons. Nelson Mandela embodied that. To serve, and you know his story, to serve 27 years, to come out through reconciliation, and to invite the jailers to his celebration. That's Ubuntu. We're all connected. I'm going to sh share a short story with you. There was a white anthropologist in South Africa, and he thought he'd do an experiment. I ain't going to throw no shade on him. You know, white folks be experimenting. I'm just saying. So, he had this big basket of fruit. And he put it about 100 meters away, and he asked the little South African children, he said, when I say go, y'all run up. And the person who gets the fruit first, you get all that. You get all the goodies. So he said, go. This is what the children did. They joined hands and they walked up to the fruit. And he said, what up? <laughs> what, what you do that for? I said, the winner can get the fruit. And a little girl, I'm just saying, love my husband, I'm pro-woman, little girl said, why would I do that? Why would we do that? How can I be happy if everyone else is sad? Ubuntu. I want to ask and invite you to consider Ubuntu. It's not a whole lot of pages, but you know, I'm a little bit vain. I don't want to put my glasses on, so I have my husband blow it up, okay? Go ahead. So we are here in this world, and we want to be in this world in a way that honors the healing. We want to be in this world in a way that seeks justice. We want to be in the world in a way that creates change that creates change that we dream of. And we don't want mere cosmetic change. You know, I appreciate the signs, Black Lives Matter. I got the t-shirt, and I love you for that. But I'm talking about that kind of change, that when ain't nobody looking, you're doing what you need to do. We're doing what we need to do. And make us we go, I see you. You doing that. And I love the mayor. He brought it real. Can you give him a hand? Because he brought that. He, he kept his script. He was linear. I love him for it. He, he, he knew what he was saying. Nothing. We want real change. And real change can only come from within. We don't want the change that moves the pieces around on the board. We want change that we can't even imagine. But this is the day, this is that moral moment that we get to remember reflect, reclaim, and reimagine our collective story. We're making history here today. Yes. Yeah, you can, you can clap on that, because y'all yeah. are doing that. Y'all are doing that. Yeah. You're clapping for that. So, because it comes out from a place where we are transformed, we want and we need trans transformative change. We want the change that changes not just the pieces, but it changes me and it changes you. The kind of change that when I step up and I say, listen, stop, you, you can no longer do this. Whoever you are, you're not my enemy. I say to you, stop from, you remember that song, stop? What's the song? In the name of love. Do it again. Stop. This is call and response, y'all, do it again. Stop in the what? In the name of love. Okay. So when I step up to you and I say stop in the name of love, it's because 
We can do something different today, right this day and this moment. And I believe the earth is going to get better for you and for me if we take care of each other. That it's not about me being against you, that we are all here to be together. We have to find a way left and right, blue and red, Republican and Democrat, and everything in between. I'm not gonna even wait for Joe Manson to decide who he is. It's everything in between. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Black and brown, red and yellow and white, all the things that we're claiming, gay, straight, bisexual, intersexual, transsexual, everything that we've got, bring it. We get to be here together. We are impacting each other right now. We are impacting each other even, even right here. We're connecting in my cells, we're, we're breathing. I'm gonna take y'all home with me, even if I don't want to. I'm already connected to you. So I have to acknowledge that each of us are going to be together. And I have a profound responsibility to support your transformation. I have a profound responsibility to make sure that you are living the most honored, respected, whole life possible. Because if you're not, I cannot. If you aren't, it's simply not possible, possible for me to do that because we're connected. I really believe that we are one. And it's not about shaming and blaming. As Brene Brown says, shaming is not a social justice tool. It doesn't serve us well. Release it, release it. So what I'd like to share, and I'll leave you with this, is from the, are the ones we've been waiting for. You have been telling the people that this is the 11th hour. Now, you must go back and tell the people that this, Lake Oswego, this is the hour. And there are things to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? What are your relationships? Are you in right relation? Where is your water? Know your garden. It is time to speak your truth. Create your community. Be good to each other. And do not look outside of yourself for your leader. Then he clasped his hands together, smiled, and said, this could be a good time. There's a river flowing now very fast. It's so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel they are being torn apart and will suffer greatly. No, the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore, push off into the middle of the river. We are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual growth and journey comes to a halt. The time of the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves, banish the word struggle, and in celebration, we, you, 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 we, are the ones we've been waiting for. In the spirit of Ubuntu, namaste, Lake Oswego family. Namaste. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Ms. Edwards. We appreciate that. So next up, I'm going to bring a gentleman that uh, is really doing work in the community. Uh, his name is Randall Wyatt. He's an MC who writes to uplift communities, and hip hop has been the foundation of his life since birth. Randall is also a member of the High Energy Performance Group, Speaker Minds, a hip hop band that has graced stages of the Northwest for almost 10 years. Pardon me as I read. <laughs> Randall is, passionate, is a passionate community activist and the founder of Taking Ownership. You might have seen him on TV recently. A community collective of contractors, realtors, neighbors, and businesses brought together to renovate and revive black-owned homes with an emphasis 
on enabling those homeowners to age in their place. That's a big deal. Take that in. Let's give them a round of applause. Check, check. All right. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Right on. Yes, I'm Randall Wyatt, uh, founder, executive director of Taking Ownership PDX. Um, we're about to hit our one year anniversary on July 9th. So far, what we've done is we've raised over $400,000. Uh, served 38 black families doing work like roof replacements, window replacements, uh, landscaping work clean up jobs, we serve a lot of senior citizens, so it's very helpful for that. And it's all in an effort to alleviate financial financial burden, because if you do your if you do your research, you'll see that black homeowners, homeowners uh, make significantly less annually than white homeowners, so we're trying to fill that gap. Uh, we're also trying to fight off gentrification and just upkeep their homes, so we keep the city off their back. Um, and we have over 250 volunteers signed up, so we do a lot of volunteer work. Um, if you want to sign up as a volunteer, donate, any of that, you can go to takingownershippdx.org. Um, but I'm going to share some music with y'all. I'm an MC as well. I've been doing this for about 16 years, but I haven't performed in a year. So uh, bear with me, y'all. Uh, we'll see how this goes. And I got a merch table over here. Turn up the music. Okay. All right, let's go. So I just heard, I just heard that nobody heard that song. <laughs> well, us up here on stage, we had a good time. So let's do that song again. That's fine. Should we? Should we write it back? Oh. Uh, I mean, let's, let's, let's just keep it going. Let's keep going. I'll do it again at the end if y'all still, still like me. 
So this next song is called Ones. It's about taking matters into your own hands. When you see a problem, you see an issue, you know, get up, get active, get into, you know, be a part of the solution. Shout out to Denmark on the ones and twos and his youngest son. I know you just put a one up, but if you can put another one up, if you're the one making things happen in your community, in your household, society, what have you. Check, check. How's the mic sound? Better? Check it out. Uh. Yo. If my set's long, you better hope your neck's strong I wreck songs, causing head bobs and raise left arms Been slept on, you get enough rest yet? I get a few stands, but I'ma take this to the next step A different breeze, spitting heat consistently Ripping viciously, except you can let the children see It takes a village, good music I can guarantee Cause you can body tracks and never rap like you carry heat Our parents seeds that are barely teens very aware of me, so I don't dare to speak carelessly. Look, I'm in it, I ain't living vicariously. Cause I'm 33 and still chasing green like I'm Larry V. It's for the birds if your words never mean a thing. All these party songs, I cut them off like a guillotine. Read between the lines, I'm deep and I keep it live. I'm hearing the people's cries and knowing the reasons why. So people worldwide, can you hear me? Yeah. It's the real me. And if you want to change the game, you need skill C. And I don't question my abilities, cause I'm the one. Yeah, I'm the one, and if I have to do it, I'll be the one, I'll be the one, I'll be the one, cause if nobody will do it, I'll be the one, yo. Huh. But not the only, I got lots of homies that's like-minded and wide-sided We're multiplying and I won't deny it, I ain't opposed to trying I suppose I'm living my life like every night I'm close to dying To no surprise I'm still rhyming, I'm kinda stubborn See you can be both a fighter and a lover There's many layers for many to major, this life is not a gimme You gotta be willing to put in plenty of labor Got my hours in, 10,000 and still counting them Singing young, I guess I found out where my fountain is Rock crowds with sounds as well thought out Some connections made in the past, I had to log out Genuine with every streak of the pen Some can float through life, but how I live you either sink or you swim The secret is you gotta think you gon' win I took my mind to it, if you lose I put my mind to it again And if I have to do it, I'll be the one I'll be the one, I'll be the one Cause if nobody will do it, I'll be the one Come on let go, how y'all feeling? You still doing good? One more time, hey, I said, people worldwide, can you hear me? Yeah. It's the real me, and if you want to change the game, you need skill C. And I don't question my abilities, cause I'm the one, yeah, I'm the one. And if I have to do it, I'll be the one, I'll be the one, I'll be the one. Cause if nobody will do it, I'll be the one. I'll be the one. That's for you, Dustin. I'll that Texas one. style. And if you got to do it, I'll be the one. All right, real quick, I want to make sure that y'all know. Give a round of applause to my man. We're having those uh, audio issues because the amp has been exposed to a lot of heat. So bear with that. So we're trying to accommodate that for you. You can go ahead and keep going. All right. Going. Hope you're still enjoying it. Nothing wrong with a little volume fluctuation, fluctuation, right? All right, this next one's called Over and Over, and this is about when life knocks you down, get back up. You know, it's about resiliency, and that's what we're celebrating today. Gotta get out there. And this is like 90s house party music right here. Uh-huh. So I wanna see the Roger Rabbit, the Cabbage Patch. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm a rocket, right? The quiet type, shining like an ultraviolet light. Let the pilot light, sort of like pyrotechnics. The fire specialist, when it comes around the sentences, adventurous. Never thought I'd reach this higher heights. Took a risk, never let a chance fly by. A dip dip, when I see the fans' hands high, band in the back line, causing all the dance vibes. Right, 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 right,
right I think I might fly I'm coming off the runway just the right size Surprise, these other suckers never thought I'd fly Car holding me back, I severed all my ties Cry me your river is what they said Man, I could've stayed down but I got up instead Moving ahead, full speed, I guess I sleep when I'm dead Or until the whole world's love is evenly spread Come on, keep on getting up, hey Keep on getting up, hey Come on, come on, let go, let's go when life tries to knock you down, when life tries to knock you down, when life tries to knock you down, get up, they might try to knock you down. Yeah, on the up and up from the rock bottom, pardon me, as I rise from the rose garden, started as a seed, then I parted from my peace, kept following my heart, but I found it hard to eat, so I marched on my feet, how far can I reach? Yo, I guess I'll never know unless you spark up the beat and let me speak about this art that I'm preaching, the only form of freedom I can find like the weekend when the bills keep increasing and the stress. Does too. Kids keep seeing everything that I do. Life keeps teaching, and I'm thinking about my moves. It ain't about me no more. I gotta choose my path, do my math, add a subtract. Yo, I gotta be the glue to keep the fame intact. See, I could fuse my blues with new school rap, but we won't do that. We won't do that. We bounce back. When life tries to knock you down, get up. When life tries to knock you down. When life tries to knock you down, get up. When life tries to knock you down, you down. When life tries to knock you down, when life tries to knock you down, yeah, they might try to knock you down. You on point, Dustin? You on point, Mo? Hey, you on point, John? Ah. Uh... There was times I was struggling and knuckling up I even gave my best efforts, said enough is enough I put my life in my hands and leave nothing to love What I said when I spent my last couple of bucks I know I gotta be tough The road is rough, I need my people on my team to really know what's up Protect my headspace, dead weight the show gets cut Some days, my parachute cord gets stuck That's Murphy's Law, brother, of course it's such True, I guess I really could alter my view But I still have this feeling in my heart What to do is up to you To choose how you act in your mood I'ma do good Candidate, actions speak louder than words to serve candidate. You were under brand new management, and it gets better if no accident. One of these puzzle pieces has to fit. Hey, when life tries to knock you down, get up. When life tries to knock you down. When life tries to knock you down, get up. When life tries to knock you down, you down. When life tries to knock you down, get up. When life tries to knock you down. When life tries to knock you down, get up. They might try to knock you down. Hey. Come on, party people, come on. Come on, party people, come on. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I miss this. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Yeah. That's what you're gonna do, right? When life knocks you down, you're gonna get up over and over again. Come on. Come on. There we go, hey. Somebody showed up wet, even. Right on. <laughs> Come on. All right, I got one more for y'all. And this is just my outro track. But first, we gotta have some awkward silence. Right, it's all about being uncomfortable. If you can be comfortable in uncomfortable situations, the world is yours. And we can really make progress too. Whenever you're ready. So I just wanna thank Respond to Racism for having me, for letting me speak about more organization. I've never performed in Lake Oswego before, so that's cool. And it just says so much to see y'all all out celebrating this holiday. So it means a lot to us. Cause I don't know if y'all know what uh, people say about Lake Oswego, right? Like the, the nickname they give y'all. <laughs> it's beautiful out here though. All right, we're gonna do it like this. I hope your shoulders are warmed up. So we're gonna need your hands in the air. 
Hey, come on, everybody in the place to be. Put your hands in the air like you're feeling the breeze. It's all right, y'all. It's all right, y'all. It's all right, y'all. It's all right, y'all. Hey, everybody in the 503. Put your hands in the sky like you're feeling the vibe. It's all right, y'all. It's all right, y'all. It's all right, y'all. It's all right, y'all. Come on, everybody in the place to be. Put your hands in the air like you're feeling the breeze. It's all right, y'all. It's all right, y'all. It's all right, y'all. It's all right, y'all. Come on, everybody in the 503. Put your hands in the sky if you're feeling alive. It's all right, hey, it's all right. Come on, hey, check it out. Yo, I grew up beatboxing on street blocks. Watching people stop and team box with eavesdrop. This is back when peeps walked in Reeboks. Now I got fans that demand to see my whole team rock. Reaching tree traps to keep with a crop to sleep on a lot. Cause I defy the rhyme about my deepest of thoughts like an equinox. I travel even with the earth, stay down to the surface. Profound with the purpose, now they understand what I'm all about in my verses. Proud of the word, it's like I'm out of the service. Fighting for the land with every writing from my pen. It tightens up my hand but I'm excited in the end and like and by a fan how their mind comprehends all the rhymes that we send through the vibes that we blend designed to withstand the unkindness of men they disguise us as rich instead of shining within so everybody in the place to be put your hands in the sky like you're feeling the breeze it's all right hey it's all right y'all it's all right huh it's all right come on hey everybody in the 503 put your hands in the sky if you're feeling alive it's all right hey it's all right hey it's all right y'all ain't putting your hands up back here what's going on everybody in the place to be put your hands in the air like you're feeling the breeze it's all right hey it's all right y'all it's all right y'all it's all right come on hey everybody in the 503 put your hands in the sky if you're feeling alive it's all right hey it's all right y'all it's all right it's all right it's all right it's all right come on we're gonna do it like this y'all i'm gonna need your participation Yo, yo, when I say it's all, you say right. It's all, it's all. Right. When I say it's all, you say right. It's all, 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 right. it's all. Right. It's all. Right. If you're late on your rent, it's all, right. it's all, right. it's all. Right. If you can't pay your water bill, it's all, right. it's all, right. it's all. Right. If you dropped out of college, it's all. Right. It's all, it's all. If you don't know what Juneteenth is, it's all. That's not okay. That's not okay. Go read a book, y'all. Actually, I got a book for you. It's called The Sum of Us by Heather McGee. I recommend it to everybody. It's a life changing book for me. And uh, I'm going to let y'all find that out. The Sum of Us by Heather McGee. Thank you. I'm Randall White. And I appreciate your time. Again, he fought through all the technical difficulties with the heat beating up on the sand, but we, we made it through. So, I appreciate that. Absolutely. All right, so next up we're going to have uh, a poem from some of our Lake Oswego School District students. So let's bring them up. Hello, guys. Hi, can you guys hear me good? Yep. Hi, okay. Sarah. Um, hi, my name is Sarah. I'm an eighth grader at Lake Oswego Junior High. Um, so today, I'll be reading um, a poem. Um, we're celebrating Juneteenth. Juneteenth is a celebration of when the slaves in Texas found out that they were free. Um, and in an honor of that, we wanted to present a couple poems from our favorite black writers. To start us off, the first poem we will be reading is Equality by Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou is an American poet, memoirist, and civil rights activist whose legacy as a poet will inspire many forever. This poem in particular speaks about exactly what the title says, Equality. And without further ado, here's Equality by Maya Angelou. You declare you see me dimly through a glass which will not shine. Though I stand before you boldly trim and rank and marking time, you do own to hear me faintly as a whisper out of range while my drums speed out the message and the rhythms will never change. Equality and I will be free. Equality and I will be free. You announce that my ways are wanton and I fly from man to man. But if I'm just a shadow to you, could you ever understand? 
We have lived a painful history and we know the shameful past, but I keep on marching forward and you keep on coming last. Equality and I will be free. Equality and I will be free. Take the blinders from your vision and take the padding from your ears and confess you've heard me crying and confess that you've seen all my tears. Hear the tempo so compelling and hear the blood throb in my veins. Yes, my drums are beating nightly and the rhythms will never change. Equality and I will be free. Equality and I will be free. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. I want to thank our youth, man. I, I, I got to tell you, we came out last year and the high schools put together um, a protest. And I tell you, it was a last minute thing. They had this place filled up. These youth are on fire. They are not having it. So let's give it up for these youth. Yeah. Good job. We appreciate that. That's what we need moving forward in the future. All right, so next up, I know y'all heard my government name is Denmark, but I'm also known as DJ Avalanche. I've done a lot of work around the Northwest, been on Sprint Radio, a lot of local radio. We all doing good? Yeah. All right, all right. Appreciate you having me. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful time. Let's rock. They schools are fool ya. Some kind of school ya. The new Huey P, Malcolm X, and Kwame and Krumah. Booyah. Say what, say what? History and views. Go ahead, girl. The vine is the line that provides the fruit. Know your fruit. See the crimson, I see magenta. Beautiful flowers make hibiscus tea and warm the winter. West Africa, my former residence, my bro and sister. Give me the nod in these United States like yo, I'm with ya. If you know how to recognize all our aesthetic mixtures, our Nile Valley wisdom hidden in prophetic pictures, or all the confidence, which is poetic pictures. To show you coons and never told me, yo, they couldn't fix us. Give me a black fist to let me know you really with us. Or that Barack Michelle Dap from my mini sisters. Whether you think we're in a city, bra, still I see old shooting in the yard. No city spa can make you shine more vicious Knock us for voodoo, that's our medicine even I'm so shocked that I'm Zulu See my rhetoric beaming, hear my shocker I'm Zulu See my rhetoric beaming, hear my predicate spit like it's John Henry Clark I'm reading We are black Black as a berry Say what, say what We are the Jews Right on, right on Follow the rule and you'll find the truth Praise the ancestors Go ahead, girl. History and views. Uh huh, uh huh. The vine is the line that provides the proof. No, you proof. Just fight sore toes and bloody lips and whips upon our torsos. Those poor souls remember God's up in our cornrows. Black folks, barbecues and laughter over sweet tea. Dominoes and collard greens, yams by the peach tree. Blue magic afro picks and wide noses. Colorful design on our prints, fly poses. Cadillacs and James Brown. Aretha Franklin in the kitchen while they mixing up the flour and the chicken. Then we always turn nothing to something. Look at the chitlin'. Gospel, jazz, hip hop, blues, we so resilient. Still see the Gold Coast close, all in my children. Might have stole the Ghana persona, but still we feel them, we heal them. Survivors of the ships that made it all across. Wash the Holocaust off like it's body wash. My protons full of Dogons of Africa. My electrons vibrating with the diaspora. Hey, what y'all don't know too, DJ Avalanche can sing. A lot of people don't know that. So you gonna hear him in a minute. I wish he'd do it live. He could do it too. Let's rock. Alright, alright. 
Ain't got a gun and he ain't doing no crimes, but he feel He gotta run if he accused by the swines cause he black And they attack and they be using a nine Turn around and plan a for so long we in a daze Sick of the quiet riders and riots sit up in a blaze I ain't saying that burning this down is the way to go I'm just saying that I believe yeah. in this time of information and technology Doesn't know how to blame him in these business times Must suck, ain't got a gun and he ain't doing no crimes But he finna cover up as they smother us with the gauge Dying up in the street as a mother smothered with rage We been so freaking fed up for so long we in the days Sick of the quiet rises are rising up in the blaze I ain't saying that burning this down is the way to go I'm just saying though, how can you blame us when this is so? Constant racial profiling, they treat our queen like a uh, Bullet up in our community, everybody It's about coming together Everybody supporting each other Brother, brother, brother That's what it's about Hey, In this time of information and technology ooh, Help us, Father, we're in need All the things a man could want But still no unity I want to I want to do one more verse real quick a cappella if I can <clears throat> Preparing for war a shadow box shotgun by the door but dang, I'm just a man who got a pleasant rapport. Understand, you should have heard my prayer went down on the floor. It was peace and organic love from the depth of my core for every color. Sisters and the brothers for sure, but we've been fighting since the slave ships parked on the shore. <coughs> Willie Lynch and there's more. <coughs> that Lady Liberty there just turned her back and ignored. Invisible to the people who's pivotal for the change. Government looking cynical, critical when they ways. White supremacists critical, shooting us every day. Shoot us and beat us, leave us, and this is the USA. Internet showed a video watching us on a stage. I'ma protect my family so I box and keep the gauge. If you feel in the rage and there's energy in your legs, any color is welcome, let's get on the same page. Yeah. All right, appreciate that subconscious survive. there it is. You can check it out online, Conscious App is the name of the group. It's on all the platforms. Next up, what I'd like to do is bring up another Lake Oswego School District student to give us a poem. Hello again. Um, so we're going to come up again and read some more poems, which I hope you don't mind. <laughs> we're from the Youth Equity Council, which all of you guys here who are high school, middle school should join. We're the youth. Um, liaison to respond to racism and I guess okay I'm gonna start um, so our next poem is Dawn Revisited by Rita Dove Rita Dove is currently a professor of English at the University of Virginia and she is also the youngest poet to be elected US Poet Laureate at the age of 40 years old as well as the first African-American to be elected that title not only that but Dove was also named both a presidential and national merit scholar, graduating as one of the top 100 high school graduates in the country. Her works often describe the experiences of with the second chance, the Blue Jay Hawks, his pretty wares, and the oak still stands. Page, come on, shake a leg. You'll never know who's down there frying those eggs if you don't get up and see. Our third poem is called Firefly by Jacqueline Woodson, the author of Brown Girl Dreaming, as well as many other books that have received name, receiving awards such as the Newbery Award and the National Book Award. I highly recommend you read that when you read them, you can take more and more for them. One comes out, you hear a little kid shout, lightning bug, firefly. It's almost May, and yesterday I caught a firefly in my hand. First firefly I've seen in a long, long time. Make a wish, Miss Edna said, make a good one. Firefly wishes always come true. 
Thank you. Nice job, you guys. Thank you. All right, we're going to bring back up Miss Julianne here to uh, do a couple songs in just a moment. She hurt her back, so we're going to give her a second. In the meantime, I'm going to bring my man Randall back up for a second. Because of the problems with the amp and it's lowering, it's trying to hang on. I want to make sure that he comes back up and he mentions his organization as well as his music and everything. All right, thank you. Sorry, I'm not trying to take up too much space or anything, but uh, I just came to my attention that a lot of y'all didn't hear what I said about my organization, Taking Ownership PDX, uh, community-based, reparation-based, grassroots organization. We're hitting our year mark, July 9th. And in that, and, uh, it's all in an effort to alleviate financial burdens from them, upkeep their homes to keep the city off their back, and fight back against gentrification. Um, it's all community-based. It's literally the city of Portland has come together. and oh, We've just been collecting donations and putting it right to do cleanup jobs at your house or yard work at your house in exchange for donations uh, to, to the organization. Uh, you could donate directly to us um, and it's tax deductible. Uh, the ownership ones, we also have my band, Speaker Mind shirts and um, other musical stuff over here and the money will go into the organization as well. All right, thank you all. Thank you, Randall. All right, at this time, oh, you want to take the regular one? Are you there? Okay. <laughs> There's a light in the darkness, though the night is black as my skin. There's a light burning bright Showing me the way But I know where I've been There's a cry In the distance It's a voice There's a cry asking why I know the answers up ahead Cause I know where I've been There's a we must travel We've lost so many along the way The riches will be plenty, yes. Oh, worth the risk and the chances that we take. There's a dream for the future. It's a struggle, a struggle that we yet to win. That pride in our hearts I know the answers up ahead Cause I know where I've been There's a road we must travel There's a promise that we all must make The rich for the future. It's a struggle, a struggle that we have yet to win. Oh, but that pride in our hearts wake us up to tomorrow. Cause just oh, just do an uplifting song right now and then we're gonna take it back you know
my activist parents were all around in the 60s. And so they were fighting for us to have all of this equality and this beauty that we see in the children and all the playing and stuff that you guys do. We're fighting for your world, you know that, right? It's for you. Yeah, because we're gonna be out of here pretty soon. So we're gonna try and make this world better for you, okay? Here's just one more. No mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me. No matter where you are, no matter how far, no matter. Come on, ain't no river to keep me from getting to you, babe. Remember the day I set you free. I told you you could always count on me, Tom. From that day on, I made a vow. I'll be there when you want me some way, somehow. Don't you know that that? Way down in my heart, although we are miles apart, if you ever need a helping hand, I'll be there on the double as fast as I can. Don't you know that? Ain't nothing like those classics, that's for sure. All right, so listen, next up, we're gonna have another poem from another student. Let's bring them up at the moment, and then we're gonna have Mr. Alex Addy to do a performance next. close off the poetry for the day. Here's one last poem by Maya Angelou. It's called Still I Rise. You write me down in history with your bitter and twisted lies. You may trod in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of the tides, just like hope springing high, still I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head? And you may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting? In the tide, 
leaving behind the night of terrors and fear, I rise. Thank you. Great job, ladies. We appreciate you. Thank you all so much. All right, at this time, we're going to bring up uh, a group supporting Mr. Alex Addy. Let me, let me get to my... Get to my notes here. Alex comes from Ghana, West Africa. Much of his youth was spent drumming performances at his church before moving to Portland, Oregon when he was 15. Alex joined Hamawa. Is that how you say it? Hamawa? Hamawa. Okay, see, you, no matter how much I try, it's never going to sound as good as it does with you, with the, with the accent. Uh, African Arts and Cultures, Obo Addy Project in 1992. He serves as director of Ghanaian Music and Dance and West African Rhythm at Lewis and Clark College. Alex also teaches the five hand techniques of Ghanaian drumming, as well as he teaches several organizations throughout the Portland metro area, including Open Metal Alternative Schools, the Higher Stages Program, Right Brain Initiative, Young Audiences, Saturday Academy, and the Sun School Programs. Wow, I need to step my game up, man. I got a lot to do. <laughs> Alex will be joined on stage here today by several of his students, so. Thank you. Now, my name is Alex Adi from Ghana. Um, of course, uh, you know, it, it was uh, my father's a very legend from Obo Adi. Obo Adi, uh, Legacy Project. Obo Adi is my father. You know, um, like the man said, thank you, thank you very much uh, for everything he said. That's Ghana and Texas is about the same. You know, uh, I, fi I figured that because uh, things that we, we go through, you know, for black, black people, we're very honored that um, to, to actually be big, big part of this thing. Um, you know, and I'm so glad that everybody to be in, a, to be in support of this, uh, to be here to support of this uh, celebration. So we thank you for also being here. Uh, we're going to play a uh, music called Panlogo. Uh, Panlogo is from Accra, Ghana, and it's actually Jeremy. So please, now, nah, like I said, please feel free. It's a big floor here. <laughs> and, you know, if you want to jam out, please uh, feel free to stand up and start dancing, okay? We're going to play Panlogo.
I hope you're listening, Terry. Thank you. We're gonna play one more, one more. We're gonna play one more called Oge. Okay. Now, Oge, okay, originally from Liberia. And uh, of course, uh, you know, we are from Ga, Ghana. So Ga people from Ghana <laughs> went to Liberia and they brought Oge okay, uh, and, and, and they adopted it and made it theirs. So we're gonna play Oge. Okay. We're gonna start slow and then they're gonna go fast. It is called the slow is called Dibo, and then we go fast, it's called Waka. Uh, waka. So we're gonna play again. Okay.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to introduce you guys to two of my students from Lucy Club. Um, and they just uh, I just invite them to join me to, to play out. Uh, just just like this last semester, um, you know, I had them. They were really great, great drummers. So this is Jamie and this is Graham. Thank you. All right. Encore, encore. Can we do encore? One more. Okay. Yeah. Since uh, we want to do a little uh, call response with everybody, okay? We're going to do it in my language. You know how when you say, when I say thank you, what do you guys say? You're welcome, right? We're going to say it in my language. I'm going to say, I and your co, and you're going to say, yeah, hey. So when I say, I and your co, what do you say? Yeah, hey. I and your co. Yeah, hey. I and your co. Yeah, hey. Now everybody clap like this, clap. I and your co. Anyeko, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Yeah. Hmm? All right, can I get one more round of applause for Alex Addy and the crew? <laughs> Great job. Okay, so I got something I want to do real quick. So I got the gentleman over here taking photos. I'd like to invite you to come up for a second, and you as well. So I want to bring y'all up on the stage, if you would. Once we get them up on the stage, I'd like to get everybody that's here to fill up this front area for two reasons. So let's get as many bodies in this middle area as possible. I want to see bodies right here. <laughs> that's right. I love it when you get a black woman that says, he said. <laughs> okay, I felt like I need to do it. Let's get as many people right here in this middle area, please, facing me. And our cameraman up here. First of all, I'd like to document this moment. I don't want nobody to say that people didn't show up of different races, different faces. I love this look. This is beautiful, okay? And once again, I want to thank every single one of you that showed up here today to be a part of this. That touches me to my core. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and every other person of color, Asian, Latino, all of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get a good shot of this first. Let's make sure we get people in here. Let's get people in here. Yeah, we're live streaming. All right, we're live streaming and I like that. There we go. Go ahead, put your hands up and make some noise for these cameras. Yes. All right. Now that I got y'all here, one of the things that we like to do in black culture is we like to eat, which we couldn't do today. We didn't have food. But we also like to dance. So I want to do a group dance, and I know all of y'all know it, and some of the young people might not know it. We got an electric slide, okay? If you don't know, you better find somebody to follow, all right? Let's go ahead and get to it.
This is how we do it, y'all. Every opportunity we get, we love to dance. Check, check, okay. Check, 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 check. <laughs> you can go ahead and take the one right there, or do you want this one? It's good, I want this one. Lake Oswego! Yay! I love this city. Man! What do you think? I love it. Best city in the Northwest. No, honestly, I'm so honored to be here to close this ceremony. Can you believe that we are doing this, that the pandemic is almost gone, we are all here having fun? I just wanted, I, I'm going off script. <laughs> the mayor told me not to do it, I'm going to do it. No, yeah. I, I just wanted to say something very important to me. Is that you all, before you go home, you reflect on this. America has the four bears of this land came on board the Mayflower. Their stories and their history is told, is taught, is honored, and is ingrained in the mind of any Americans. Is, should and must be told and that's the problem we have in this country that folks oh you are canceling nobody is canceling if we say we are gonna talk about slavery we're not we're not saying oh we're gonna talk about slavery and not the mayflower we have to embrace both the mayflower and the slave ship 
This is our history and our story. We have to tell it. And that's the reason I'm very happy today to see that all the folks here, that's what you are doing. But you know, slavery is good to say Juneteenth. Let's celebrate it. Biden wrote a, you know, a proclamation. But slavery had the consequences. The people who are the descendant of slaves, us, our people, we are the last to be served in America. In everything, we are overrepresented in job application rejections. We are overrepresented in school exclusions. We are overrepresented in police brutality. We are overrepresented in redlining. Our ancestors, they went to the wars like most of people. When they came, Congress vote a beautiful bill, the GI Bill. But when our ancestors went, or our grandparents, or we want to have all the advantage of the GI Bill, it was refused to them. And that home ownership, home ownership made many communities what they are today when it was refused to black folks. So reckoning, you know, with that story is very important. Recognizing that their problems, their like all the stress induced diseases, they are prevalent in black communities. Why? We should ask ourselves why it's not because of the trauma of slavery. And that's why folks, we need reparations. It's not when people say reparation, that's that. We have, I'm not, I'm not in the concept of 40 acre and a mule. No, reparation is what? All of us, because you are my brothers, my sisters, my neighbors, my friends, my wives. She's right here. So the, I'm not saying white folks. No, 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 you are all to us, our wives, our husbands, our friends, cousins, we are one country. Division is our enemy. If we want to stay the city on the hill, we have to recognize, say that, hey, folks, our schools reject the black folks. This is a fact. I'm, I am an educational scholar. I did research on how our kids, there's no achievement gap. There's opportunity gaps. Because of the remnants of Jim Crow's that came from slavery, our neighborhoods are redlined, our schools are systematically sabotaged, our children are leading right to the school to prison pipeline. You go to any prison, slavery is not over. Juneteenth is not 